Franciscan Friars in India offer masses for the following intentions. For the soul of Edward Chandra Babu by family members. For the soul of Edward Chandra Babu by Mary Selin Chandra Babu. For the soul of Dr. A. Raja Pinheru. And for good health of Romeo Lobo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Mother Church today remembers Cyril of Alexandria. He was, is the doctor of the church, confessor and bishop. He defended against all the heresies. He defended for the Catholic doctrine of Mary, the mother of God. He also defended Catholic doctrine. He is the one who stood against all false teachings as we remember him today let us put away all faults within our, in us that we may worthily participate in this eucharistic celebration brethren let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop Saint Cyril of Alexandria an invincible champion of the divine motherhood of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Grant, we pray, that we who believe she is truly the Mother of God may be saved through the incarnation of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Lamentations. The Lord has destroyed without mercy all the habitations of Jacob. In his wrath, he has broken down the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He has brought down to the ground and dishonor the kingdom and its rulers. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have cast dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The maidens of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. 
My eyes are spent with weeping. My soul is in tumult. My heart is poured out in grief because of the destruction of the daughter of my people. Because infants and babes faint in the streets of the city. They cry to their mothers, where is bread and wine? As they faint like wounded men in the streets of the city, as their life is poured out on their mother's bosom. What can I say for you to what compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What can I liken to you that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea in your ruin, who can restore you? Your prophets have seen for you false and deceptive visions. They have not exposed your iniquity to restore your fortunes, but have seen for your oracles false and misleading. Cry aloud to the Lord, O daughter of Zion. Let tears stream down like a torrent day and night. Give yourself no rest, your eyes no receptive. Arise, cry out in the night at the beginning of the watches. Pour out your heart like water before the presence of the Lord. Lift your hands to him for the, li for the lives of your children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the life of your poor servants forever. Do not, Do not forget, forget the life of your poor servants forever. Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Why blaze with anger against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people whom you chose long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your own possession, the mountain of Zion where you made your dwelling. Your response? Do not, Do not forget, forget the life of your poor servants forever. Turn your steps to these places that are utterly ruined. The enemy has laid waste the whole of the sanctuary. Your foes have made uproar in the house of your prayer. They have set up their emblems, their foreign emblems, high above the entrance of the sanctuary. Our response? Do not forget the life of your poor servants forever. Their axes have battered the wood of its doors. They have struck together with hatchet and pickaxe. O oh God, they have set your sanctuary on fire. They have raged and profaned the place where you dwell. Our response? Do not forget the life of your poor servants forever. Remember your covenant. Every cave in the land is a place where violence makes its home. Do not let the oppressed return disappointed. Let the poor and the needy bless your name. Your response? Do not, Do not forget the life of your poor servants forever. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. You shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 8, verses 5 to 17. As Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came forward to him, beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home, in terrible distress. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion answered him, Lord, 
I'm not worthy to have you under my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority with soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard him, he marveled and said to those who followed him, Truly I say to you, not even in Israel have, have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from east and west and sit at table with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven while the sons of kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness, there men will weep and gnash their teeth. And to the centurion Jesus said, Go, be it done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed at that very moment. And when Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her and she rose and served him. That evening they brought to him many who were possessed with demons and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is our answer to many of our problems, be it our sickness, be it our problems at home, be it sadness. For anything, Jesus is an answer to many of our problems. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and life. He also said, I am the bread of life. All those who are hungry, come to me. I will give you the bread of life. All those who are heavy of heart, come to me, I will give you rest. All who are thirsty, come to me, I will give you living water. All those who are sick, come to me, I will heal you. As we see in Second Peter chapter 2, verse 24, by his wounds we have been healed. Jesus is an answer for many of our problems and our, to our sicknesses. In the today's gospel, we heard centurion, his servant, was healed. And also, Peter's mother-in-law, she also was healed. Jesus is answer for sickness and our problems but we have to go to him alone with all our humility as we see in the first reading in the book of lamentations Jesus suggests two things the people of Israel at times they followed the Lord but most of the times they went away from the Lord Due to this, they were captured by other nations. They were ill-treated and they are crying to the Lord. And the Lord suggests to them, get up early in the morning before the sun rises. Kneel down and raise your hands and pray. Get up early in the morning, kneel down and raise your hands and cry to the Lord. If we cry to the Lord, the Lord 
will hear. As we saw in the yesterday's gospel, the man who had leprosy pleaded before the Lord and he was healed. And today we see a centurion. He pleaded before the Lord and he, his servant was healed. And all those who came to him with crying, the Lord had mercy. We see in the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4, there were many abominations going on in the city of Jerusalem. And the Lord was fed up of people who turned against the Lord. And there was one little group who were crying, pleading before the Lord. And the Lord said, put a mark on their heads who are crying. Do not touch them. And except that little group, all other people were destroyed. If you have problems, or if you have sickness, or if you are sad, or if you are caught up with many difficulties, the only answer is Jesus. He said, come to me, all who are heavy of heart, I will give you rest. Come to me, if you have sickness, I will heal you. As we, re as we just now read towards the end of the gospel, many who followed Jesus, they were healed who are possessed, were healed. Jesus is our answer for many of our problems. In fact, all of our problems and our sickness. Amen. We love you, take our life, oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Yours as we stand at the table, you said. Yours as we eat the bread, our hearts can't forget. We are the signs of your life with us, yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread. You take our heart, we love you, take our life, oh Father, we are yours, we are brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive O Lord the sacrifice of reconciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offerings of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from the unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, earth is full of your glory. Glory fills the heavens to sing to him, O You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Anthony Swami, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins, from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be departed from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Join as we recite Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler, you will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. 
you will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. O St. Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you remained courageous during the challenging times because you recognized the redemptive power in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus following our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed all people who have been suffering physically and mentally through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world, and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors, and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, Look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of Corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations. Being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable. Yet, like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world, because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, we remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath, restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation, purify our love that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor, and give us a sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst where he lives and reigns with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ, and unfailing hope of the afflicted, grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, and by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, 
May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, our patron, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.